It's August 18th and I'm continuing to record some of my experiments with Dr. Stifler's Space Energy Coherer. Here you can see uh, hydrogen and oxygen bubbling off of a couple of uh, pencil leads from a mechanical pencil. And those leads are spaced simply by uh, having little bits of insulation slipped over the ends and held apart at both ends. <clears throat> the uh, leads are connected to a couple of clip leads which are hooked up to four diodes in series providing a 2.8 volt uh, potential between the graphite rods. The yellow lead goes off and is connected to earth ground on the other side we have the glass of pure distilled water no electrolyte added connected by a single lead over to my micro SEC which I built this morning and the micro SEC is the uh, core components of the space energy coherer on the right you see uh, 22 volt power being brought into the circuit L1 a 10 micro Henry uh, choke this is an MPSA 06 transistor and a piece of copper tubing for a heat sink a 1 mega ohm resistor and a 470 picofarad capacitor the output coil L2 inductor right there is a 22 microhenry inductor and we have a hand wound coil which is wound tightly on a quarter inch coil form uh, which was in fact this same quarter inch OD heat sink uh, copper tubing and then with using a neon bulb to tune it, it was slightly spread until the neon bulb fired and then was adjusted for the maximum brightness. The power supply uh, comes through this massive filter. I used a large cap and uh, in order to avoid errors on my power input I created a bridge uh, rectifier so that I can not worry about polarity or even AC on my power input. I have a, a jumper there that lets me disconnect and measure current input and the whole thing is powered by a little power brick which is providing 22 volts DC. And uh, that's the setup for now the Dr. Stifler Space Energy Coherer. Thanks, Doc.